Hello, good day. Welcome back to the video series in merging the two of your subjects this semester, namely the ITS 207 Object Oriented Programming 2 and ITS 205 Database Management Systems 2. We will develop a meaningful programs in Java language that uses all the object oriented principles and we will apply what we learn in database management systems. It actually administer, manage tables, entities, or records within the database. This is the fifth video on the series that will teach you on how you how you to perform delete query in the database and embedding it to a Java program. To start with, uh, you now open with your NetBeans. So next thing that we need to do is to open your Chrome and you need to download your backup we go to the drive driver drive google drive and you can see on our backup folders there uh, we can now have the latest one which is the fifth activity or no it's the fourth one so all we need to do is download that wait for a bit uh, to compress the file and ready to download so while waiting on that we also uh, open some server for us to access the database so it's now starting to download so we're just waiting to, to, to finish that uh, we just want to finish um, turn on the sum first so go to sum folder and we need to go to sum control and start just have a permission for this we need the apache to start and the mysql to start also okay so once this so once that is already done all we need to do is to go back Okay, you can just open directly to localhost which we admin to access our database. So we have here, I think we already have our merge project. So assuming that we don't have that, so we can drop it using this operation in SQL. Okay, uh, drop database uh, John Alejo merge project okay, you can copy this and click go okay so we have now so all we need to do is uh, go to this folder uh, because we need to unzip this one then this one right click on this and open or uh, extract all so we can just extract it on the download folder so click extract okay then we can see that for 2 2023 and this is the SQL we need to open this one on this uh, new and we need to create our database uh, this is what we have to do every time we have um, on the new computer so now we need to import click the import and choose a file when choosing the file we know where it is located you go to downloads and then we um, we um use okay the we extract the folders we have that this one and we have this sql file so we have now our files just scroll a bit at the bottom you can see the import button and you can click ok so we have now our database and the table student and we have also the uh, data, data set so all we need to do right now is to also go back to NetBeans and create or open our project by clicking this icon and locate the download here we can see where is the download so we have this the downloads and 
4321 click this chevron right to, to open what is it on that folder and we can see this folder alejo chan merge project click open so uh, we have some resources that is problem here we can just test it so we can we already loaded the, the mysql connector which is good in our side and we have here and default we have this one is for the insert this one is for select and this one is for up for the update so let us try to look, make it if there is a uh, if it will, it will run right click, click run so let us say one we can have five and we can update name we can put here uh, Jose Riza okay so it is really working so this video is intended to how to create delete so what we I saw you saw a while ago it's what's what we also uh, want to will, will work so we'll just flash all the combination of select and a delete so we need to select first all the, the, the data and then delete to, to ask if what are the uh, data to be deleted but for now uh, if we go to services we don't have available services here mm, I think uh, but it's really working so uh, to be to be good uh, a practice we need to create uh, instead even though we are using we are successfully working or running our program but still we can see in the services we don't have a connection uh, to make it much more okay um, yeah, to, to, so, to always check out the services and you have the drivers so to do that make sure that everything is set up you can um, go back to the other page with my admin click copy this one and just paste it here and remove after the question okay and test the connection if it is succeeded click finish so that is having a connection here which is also uh, uh, it is good no if voila but if okay, we have to be uh, practice it uh, in the wrong in the right way so here we need to add another one uh, class uh, for us to continue our uh, project and this is for the delete so go to the uh, new uh, java class and now all we need to do is type uh, cl4 and the format that we have is your first name and last name then remove everything so we need to choose first um, uh, some needed um, uh, class to, for us to connect to the database first with the input is the java that sql that connection and we have also import java that sql that uh, driver manager and we have also the prepared statement java sql prepared statement and also the option pane uh, jbox that swing um, j option okay so everything is working the way we want uh, all of those are could be used so next thing is we create a main function public uh, static uh, void main string args okay so we have to create our connection so with the so with that we need to um, load the connection class connection akong uh, db uh, connect dipo connect na kana is equal to null for now and we need to uh, use some of the, the variables like string uh, db class db 
URL. We have DBU name and DBU pass. So all of these things are can be found in the services. Right click properties, and now we can assign a the individual value DB class is equal to this one driver class click on this icon highlight and copy then paste for a while just highlight copy and paste other thing is the db url is equal to this one highlight copy and paste and we can close it now because we are can memorize that dbu name is equal to root and the db pass the dbu pass is equal to black so everything is working uh, good so we can try to connect into the database using the try catch block code so try and we have to catch uh, the exemption uh, and we will create a object error for the exception okay and for that we can throw our errors in using the j option pane that show message dialog and null and error that get message and we can set it to a db error And the type of junction uh, we have error message so that's it so we try using first on the driver uh, class that class that for name and then the DB class and okay we have a DB connect is equal to driver manager that get connection and first parameter is the url second is the db u name and the third one is the db u pass once we had that okay akong connect akong db connect okay so Next is to load the prepared statement because we are going to use now the delete functionality. So to do that, we can just say that um, prepared statement is equal to object name akong ps is equal to um a home db connect that um you can say uh prepared uh prepare okay okay so the query for this we can just set to string okay delete query we can assign just the same as the update um, delete um, delete from table student okay where so wha what arrow you are going to delete okay for example uh, where id okay is equal to one so delete query and this one and we can directly use akong ps that execute update then close the database connection akong db connect that close ok 
Okay, so let's try if our ID one went after our we run our program. Um, this ID will be deleted. Okay, try we can run this run a uh, run file. Okay, it's stop uh, running and it's now built successful. So we go to the database and click on the student. As we can see, the ID one is already deleted. So that is how we perform simply using this script in order to delete. If you forgot where, so what will happen? Delete from student, run, and file. So it runs. We go to the database and click on the student. It will delete it, all the records because you did not specify uh, what um, particular record you are going to delete so in order for us to uh, change uh, to uh, in order for us to get all the records back we can use uh, rollback hopefully it will work okay, we cannot. I don't know why the rollback is not really uh, functioning here in this uh, page from admin but uh, I guess it is working so we can just go to SQL and drop the date the, the this table drop table uh, student so that we can import it back okay so there is no table we can import it back uh, choose file okay and import so we can go back first what we left off for the first time so we already had everything so it's how it's simple done creating a deleting student so beware of using this make sure that um, you should um, put where clause specifically where, where where is the data you need to be deleted so in this case uh, we will follow the same uh, technique um, to make it to make our um, our program much more meaningful we need to first select all the data and next is you are going to um, we were going to delete it so uh, how we get to make it much for and utilize our time we can go back uh, to to every we can just empty everything and we can follow uh, the the format we uh, uh, had uh, last time we can go back and we can just copy all the connections that we had here okay uh, then next thing that we need is to create all um, showing showing all the records we can okay um, we can make it since we have art number three we have everything here expected the way it was but the problem is we had I think you need to select or to input like I think we can do it uh, we can use create a new a class for three and then we can use it in our four okay so to do that we can manage in the main and we can create um, C L3 John um, Alejo, we can create a project to uh, project 3 is equal to new CL3 John uh, Alejo. This is the new instance of our class. So that is why when we use project uh, 3 that show all records, we can just use what we had uh, done here instead of copying everything, we can just use it here. So now we can run our program here on this and we can select okay
um, here we can select um, the, the things that um, we need so so select a record to need to update and enter uh, the input so we need to change a little bit here instead of selecting a record you need to update enter the ID to input so all we need to do here is to use the principle of um, principle of method overriding we can just override what is uh, on the on the showing the all the records but we need to override the last one which is the output hopefully it works in this uh, time so in here we can use um, we need to extend using the inheritance we need to extend uh, extends to CL3 John Alejo so that is why we can use all the possible methods in the CL3 by using public um, void uh, show all records okay so we are now going to override notation so we override if we will just override the last part uh, here so we can I think we can copy everything okay I think we can copy everything because and paste it here and instead of uh, select a record you need to update and enter an ID you need to select a record and you do delete okay okay single row so right now we can run and as you can see it's still there so all we need to do is not to show this project okay we can now directly use it here remove this object and now we can just say uh, show all records here we need to load this class CL4 here CL4 underscore uh, John Alejo and we have here my object is equal to CL4 John Alejo and why there is an error here uh, we can we forget to put new and we have here my object that show all records okay we can run and hopefully it works okay so we have now select a record you need to delete enter the ID to input the box so when we enter an ID all we need to do is to select uh, undo the box okay uh, so for example one it will now load okay select a column to update so if we don't need that uh, we need to prompt uh, the user that you need to are you sure to delete then just press uh, have a option dialog 
so to do that uh, instead of use the show single row selected so we can just say um, uh, confirm delete and this time I think everything is working now um, we need to you create uh, here another void public uh, void I think it's also the same show single row and we need uh, some int ID and we need to overwrite also Uh, because we have that we had the same uh, so we can just copy all the single row connection and everything until the until the catch black copy and then paste it here so all we need to do is uh, we need um, everything so instead of using select a column um, I think uh, we don't need this anymore we can just say um, confirm to delete and then just remove this and we will use uh, J option J option pane that show confirm dialog have the null and we output the holder I think everything is working right now let us try to run for a while we close it and we need to press please confirm and click yes to con continue uh, deleting this record so and if you select one it will say ID name please confirm click yes to continue deleting this record so we need to know to delete to delete so um, the value we know we know we know we don't we don't want to we want to know the value because uh, this is what we are having so we can just test uh, system out that uh, print line and output the confirm to delete to know what are the individual values for the config uh, dialog so if we select one and we press yes the value is zero so we have zero is so yes is equal to zero do it again another one we have one it again and when you press no the value is one so that is no is equal to one and another one one and you press cancel the answer is two so cancel is equal to two and last one if we can press escape or disclose it have negative one so ASC key slash uh, quit or 
values is equal to negative 1. So these are the values that we have to determine and the things that we really want is the yes. So all we need next thing is to create another void, uh, public um, void, delete record, and we need the uh, int uh, id uh, to delete. And since we have now that, uh, we need to copy the try or the connection for everything. Okay. I use also the try or the catch. And the try catch block. So, okay. I think we don't need this one. But we need this prepared statement. So, we can have prepared. Um, uh, prepared uh, statement is equal to my ps or akong ps is equal to akong bbcon that prepared uh, statement and uh, we can use um, variable string uh, delete uh, del query uh, we have delete from student where id is equal to uh, whatever id it will pop up okay and then we can just grab a copy for this in here and we will also remove this we don't need it any result here so we can have our kong ps that execute update and we can finally say a j option pane that show a message dialog null and we have uh, id um, ID is uh, permanently is permanently deleted to the database. Okay, and then the message uh, success delete success successfully uh, deleted and the can have j option uh, paint that success we don't have that we have information message so everything's working good okay i think we don't have this okay have lastly is to go back and show the show all records okay so run if it is working okay uh, one uh, please confirm we click yes okay nothing happens but we go to our database and this okay nothing happens also I think there is a problem here uh, we have we did not perform the delete here so we have delete record and we add what we need here so we can also here 
we can pass this is the um, okay in response okay and then instead of okay instead of doing this we can just say if response is equal to one oh no it's, it's equal to zero do the following here okay response and else if is equal to one gonna say j option pain let's show message dialog now okay uh, uh, okay we can ID successfully then we have here okay cancel can scan uh, canceled cancel canceled we know that is equal to 1 and if it is equal to 2 that is cancel else if is equal to 2 okay okay we have ID is not deleted. Uh, delete cancel. Since all of these two is the same, we can just uh, and and oh, we can have or um, race is equal to 2 and this one if okay we can make it else if else I just not deleted uh, delete a working now so it does a strand it run it again and we can click one if yes when you click yes one is deleted so we don't have one we have two if you cancel two is not deleted successfully okay so we have Space and make sure there is a show records after the G option pane. Okay, uh, let's do it again. To make our codes or program really not uh, it quitting, so we have to. We have no. Okay, can go back to two again. Cancel. Okay have two again and close uh, so
So everything's working. So that's how who, how we have done in our uh, activity number four. Okay, deleting uh, our uh, record. We need to create to prompt the user in order to uh, know that it is uh, confirmed to be deleted in the database because one mistake we will ruin it, ruin in the database. Make sure uh, every in record management system you don't allow to delete. If, in case you have allowed to delete, make sure that the user prompt it that that is intentionally delete, not what we call an intentional delete. That we just click on it and then delete it. So you need to create like this, and especially in the delete functionality, that always uh, prompt the user if they are really sure to delete the particular record and the in the table. So I think that is really working on on our, on this part. So next thing that we need to do is to backup. Okay. Um, I know you know how to backup on the document. Okay. Uh, perform the backup by the same doing the same right click do the properties and backup open the file explorer go to the browser address and walk one folder and this is how your project so go to your drive add another folder and this is the same 402 dash 2023 and we have on 9 uh, 901 p.m. okay and all we need to do is go to that uh, where is that folder now and then drag and drop here on your drive wait until it finish so now we just go to the SQL not go to the student and now go to export and click on the SQL and export so we have now loaded the SQL open again so I think it's already done uploading our project so go to the SQL I think it's already done so go to the SQL and drag and drop it on the drive. So now we don't have the backup. So thank you. And uh, that is that ends my uh, video number five uh, for the uh, creating a delete query and embedding it to a Java program. So thank you and God bless everyone.